What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to add friends or follow other users and save that relationship in the database. I have a previous video where we fetched users from a database and displayed them on the front end. In this video we'll select a user, make a post request to our server, and pass the username of the user that signed in along with the username of the user we're following and again save that relationship in the database. This is a continuation of our Music Talk app. It's an app like Facebook, but people just talk about music. Pretty much the best idea ever. In previous videos, which you don't need for this one, by the way, we set up a React app for our front end and a Node and Express app for our back end. We connected to MySQL for our database. We set up React Router version 6 and Redux Toolkit. All kinds of good stuff. But anyways, on with this video. So here is the front end of the app, our beautiful homepage. I'm going to sign in as Music Man here. And then it takes us to the profile page and greets the user. You go to the friends page and it shows the available users that you can add as a friend. And that's what we did in the previous video. So now we want to be able to click one of these usernames and add them as a friend. So if we go into the code here, this is our find friends page. This is where we're fetching those usernames and then displaying them down here. We're mapping over the users and then these list items are the different usernames. So in this list item, we're going to do an on click event. And do an anonymous function so that it's called whenever we click the username and inside that anonymous function we're going to do this add friend function which we will create in a second and we're going to pass in the username and the index we'll use that index to replace the username with the word added once it was successfully added to the database so up here below the use effect we will create that function called add friend and again we're getting the username and the index number and then inside here we want to do a post request I'm going to do the back ticks because we we'll want to do a string interpolation and that's going to our server on localhost 8080 and then we'll do an ID which for now we'll do the user and then slash add friend and then sending along to that route will be the username so this is an object and the key will be username and the value will be username we don't have to explicitly say params like we do with the get request you can just send it along with the post request. So this is the username and then this is the user. So up here, this is the user that is signed in, which we're getting from Redux Toolkit or Global State. And so I'm going to change this from username to user. That'll be the user that is logged in. So the request will be, you know, dot com slash the user that signed in slash add friend and then we're passing in the username that they're adding as a friend so the one is called user and the one is called username do a dot then we'll get a response and if we do that means it was successful so we'll set error to null and if there is an issue we'll do a dot catch to catch the error and we will set error which we're already using use state for local state for setting errors and we'll just say couldn't add friend with a sad face so also when we get that successful response back. We'll send back a response.data. 
dot added, meaning they were successfully added. And then we're going to do some local state here. And we'll do added and then set added. I'll show you what we're going to do with this in a second. It's going to be an empty array initially. And this index number that we're sending in for the different user that we added, we're going to add that to this added array so that we know which one, so that we know the index number of any usernames that were added. So we will do a set added and we will use the spread operator to add in any of the index numbers that we had already previously added and then we will also add the index number of the user that they're adding at that time. So if they're clicking on the second user and let's say they already added user 3 we're going to be sending in 2 when it's successful, we're going to pass in the number 3, because they've already added that, and then we'll also add 2 to the array. And then any user with the index of 2 or 3 will say added instead of the username. So go back to the app. So we have these usernames. If you click on, you know, say 2 or 3, those would say added instead of showing the username. So we'll have to change how we implement this display of the usernames, and we'll have to detect that added. So we'll do if, and we'll have that added array, and then there's the includes method, which determines whether an array includes a certain element, returning true or false as appropriate. We'll pass in the index which will be all the indexes because we're iterating over this array and passing in the index of all of those items. So we'll be checking for or all of those index numbers. And if that's true, then we will return the list item with the class name. I'm just going to give that a little green color here. And we will say added. And if that index is not included, then we will just display the username. Get rid of those brackets there. Ah, and then our use effect, since we changed that username of the user that signed in to user, we also want to update this use effect or passing in that. I'm going to change this to user, the user that signed in that we're sending in with that route, and then also the dependency array. So then in our index.js, so our server, this request.query.username, we just changed to user. And then we can still call it username there, and then all that will still work. That's from the previous video. And then now we also want to create our route for this post request that we just created. So we're sending in the username of the user that is signed in, calling that user, and then the username that they clicked on, which we're calling username. That is an app.post. It's a post request. And then we're going to do slash colon ID. So that'll be a placeholder. So whatever we pass in as the URL to here, that's we can access it through that ID there, and that'll be the username of the user that signed in. And so it'll be that username slash add friend. And then we'll get a request and a response. 
And so we'll have the user, which we're passing in as user, is that ID placeholder, the user that signed in. And we can access that with request.params.id. And then we will have what we will call the friend, the username that they're adding, which we can access with request.body.username. So again, this request.params ID is coming from this part. And then the username that we're sending in, that is the request.body.username, which we're saving to friend here. And then I like to console.log, we can say user, and I just do it as a object there. So then it'll say user, which is the name of the variable. And then it'll also, the value of the key of that object will be whatever the value is. So it can be a good uh, debugging technique. And then we will also do friend as well. And then we will do our database query. We will say insert into the friends table. And that'll be the user and the friend. Go ahead and pull up the database so you have an idea of what we're working with here. We're in the music talk project, change directory into the server. That's where the server is running here. Go into MySQL Workbench. We have our Music Talk database. See our different tables. And then we have this Friends table. And I'll hit this Query All button here. So we have a user and a friend. The user is the user that's logged in or the user representing a user, and then the friend is uh, also a user ID, and that's who the user is friends with, a different user. So if we also pull up the users table, we see music man is ID number 12, that's who we are logged in as, and we have one friend, and that is ID number 13, so that username is jazz. And so we can add any of these other users as a friend. So we want to insert into the friends table a value of user, and that's the username that signed in, and then friend, the username that we're passing in. So back in here, insert into the friends table, user and friend, and then the values that we want to set for user and friend. For that, we're going to have to select the user ID from the users table where username equals and do question mark, which we'll put user there, the user that signed in. And we're doing a question mark to escape database injection attacks. And so the two values that we're entering are the user ID for the user that signed in, where username equals user, and then also select user ID, because now we also want to add the user ID of the friend that they're adding. So user ID from users table, where username equals question mark. Do a comma, come down to another line here. Then we'll have our array, and this is where we can enter in the values for these question marks here. So we're gonna do user and friend. User being this and friend being that. And 
And then for this database query, we'll either get an error or a result if it is successful. And we'll say if there is an error, we'll go ahead and console.log that error for now so we can see what's going on if there is an issue. And we will also set a error status of 418, which is a pretty funny error if you caught that in a previous video. And then we'll just send over an error message. An error occurred with this emoji face. And we'll say if there is a result, meaning it was success meaning it was successfully added to the database. Do a response.send, an object of added, which is true, which we are handling here, response.data.added. So if that's true, we're going to set added with the index that we sent in and all that that we set up earlier. So. I have this saved, I have this index saved, and now we pray. Okay, good start. All the usernames are gone. I made a change to the server file, so we need to shut down the server and restart it. Hitting up to go to my previous command, node index.js, the name of the file, and hit enter. Server listening on port 8080. Gonna log out, sign in. Go to the friends, we see the different usernames. I'm gonna click tech check, make sure you like and subscribe. And we see it was added. Addicted to music. All right, looking good. And then we'll see those console.logs, user, music man, that's who's signed in, and friend, the text check that we added, and this friend, the addicted to music. Looking great. We go to the friends table, if I query this again, so we're signed in as user 12, the music man, and these are our different friends. Okay, so that is how you add friends to a database. We'll do a follow-up video where we add a link to view the friends that you're friends with. And when you go to that page, we'll fetch those users that are friends with the user, and then we'll display those on the front end. Then we'll also allow users to make a post about music and display those posts for any users that you're following. We'll get into liking posts, all kinds of stuff. So stay tuned. If you haven't already, feel free to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Drop a comment and say what's up. And thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Check it. Check it.